Hey, I'm Marla with Marla Gets Fit, coming to you from Grants Pass, Oregon. Wanted to do a quick live. Hopefully, this is coming through. Hopefully, yes. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm in the yard today. Wanted to do a quick update. We just got back, did a little bit of a trip in the Jeep, had some fun, went up to Mount Ashland. So, um, it's been kind of cloudy and rainy, but here, let me just show you the yard because it's so pretty out today. Lots of um, neighbor noise going on, but see, it's a beautiful day. A little bit of blue sky, some clouds. Sun's about to set over there. And uh, the grass is green. The fruit trees are got their green leaves. Birds are everywhere. Frog pond is kind of um, dried up, so haven't been hearing much frogs. A little bit of frogs, but not too much. And then here's the, of course, the dogwood. It's so pretty right now, and it's about to start dropping its little petals, but it's so pretty. Beautiful. Anyway, just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, we went went up to Mount Ashland, and it was um, still quite a bit of snow. I was real surprised. Uh, quite a bit of snow on the ground, and um, of course it's closed. They, they closed it early, of course, because of um, everything that's going on. But um, uh, they they uh, still had quite a bit of snow. You know, it's like ice right now, but snow on the way up. And then it was pretty cool because if you're not familiar, it's right like in the saddle of this. Um, of the hill so you can look off that way towards Medford and then this way you're looking off towards uh, California and you can see Mount Shasta in the, in the distance and it's so beautiful I posted some pictures um, on my profile and also a couple I think I posted one on my Marlowe Gets Fit page so you can check those out but it was so beautiful and as we sat there just watching we were kind of up in the clouds and so it would be clear enough to see and then all of a sudden you know the cloud would come and it was totally like being in the fog and you couldn't see anything and you could just watch the stuff I took a few videos so I'll probably post a couple of it they were really cool uh, it was a little bit cool but not too not too bad up there but uh, we tried to see if we could go on because um, Mount Ashland kind of stops and then it turns into Forest Service Road but uh, it was blocked off they had um, the gate was officially open but there was just a huge mound of ice snow another goose um, and so you couldn't get farther unless you had you know some uh, I guess snowmobiles or something like that could go on uh, so we stopped there and you know took some video took uh, some pictures and then headed on home kind of took the scenic way and it was real pretty and <laughs> my daughter just drove in so um, it was fun uh, definitely fun to get out in the Jeep got how many Jeep waves I think I got four or five Jeep waves today there was a lot of Jeeps out so that was fun and uh, we uh, stopped at in Medford went to Chick-fil-a if you have not been man they are crazy they are they have such they have it down the drive through it because when they first opened of course they had to make a special road for them because it was like wound around I mean it was like a mile long line and they were so fast it was pretty amazing how fast they've got it down pat you go into two lines and then they've got I don't know 20 people taking your orders outside but um, it's that has kind of gone away but they have it um, <laughs> they have it um, really fast now of course the the big crowds have died down but it's still super super fast but my favorite thing there as far as staying keto is the um, you can get any other sandwiches without the bun and they have really good chicken sandwiches I like the chicken club because it has this really good like a Colby Jack cheese and then it has bacon it's super yummy and then they, their nuggets are really really good it's different than other things they're like little teeny nuggets but they're they have a just a light almost more seasonings than it's really not breaded and it's they're super super yummy so I do suggest getting those. Those are great little uh, little uh, finger foods. So I like that. And then their their unsweetened iced tea is really yummy. And they have the little chunks of ice, which is what I really love. You know, instead of big bigger blocks of ice, it's like little teeny little uh, little round little chunks of ice. And I love that for some reason. It just tastes better that way. I don't know. But anyway, it was a good day. We had a lot of fun. So <laughs> oh, my daughter just told me she went shopping, and I posted couple days ago how Franz my favorite keto bread had don't throw that at me <laughs> she went shopping today and they came out with hamburger buns so they got keto hamburger buns here come here and bring it to me 
I'll show you. Gotta show you. They're little, but they're cute. So look at this. Keto buns. Keto hamburger buns. Yay! We gotta have a barbecue now. Yummy. Thank you. Cool. So she found the where'd you find those? Fred Myers, Fred Myers. I imagine they'll be rolling out to all the places that have, um, you know, Franz bread, which we found it at Safeway, Albertsons, Fred Meyer, Walmart, and of course Costco. I'm not sure if Costco is going to get it because Costco has the special deal, you know, for the bread. Instead of one loaf, you get the two ro two loaves for um, $7.99, which is a pretty good price as far as because most places one loaf is five dollars ish, something like that. But it is it has changed my life as far as keto um, I love you know I've lived all this time without it I before the keto bread I would eat um, use um, low-carb tortillas kind of as my bread item I would do turkey wraps and stuff like that but now that I have the keto bread I can do bread I can do turkey sandwiches I can do fried egg sandwiches I can do toast with uh, sugar-free jelly and butter lots of lots of options grilled cheese sandwich oh my gosh so yummy anyway I'll have to definitely do a taste test or a, show you um, a hamburger with a keto bun. I'm so excited. So uh, that's all I have today. Hope you had a great day. It's Saturday. It feels like Sunday. We were, While we were out, there was not, you know, the streets are not that crowded, of course, not that many people. So it really felt like a Sunday, not that many people out. Uh, but we did uh, get a few things we needed and then did our little t tour. So that was fun to get out. And uh, that's all I have. So if you're wanting to um, get started with keto, you know, get healthier, feel better, not gain, you know, an extra 15 pounds from all this ordeal going on and hopefully stop that from happening. I do have um, a guide to get you started with your ketogenic lifestyle. You know, just it's 10 easy steps, 10 pretty easy steps to get started, you know, how to make little tweaks to your, your diet and that sort of thing. And then uh, what to do, what not to do. And then of course a food list to help you get started. So if you'd like that, just send me a private message and say 10 easy steps. I'd be happy to send that to you. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on my next video.